had to remind me. Thank you, Heidi, by the way. I remember that Carver. And uh, I thought, since we were coming from a different direction, I thought, oh, I told her, I said, hey, we're going to miss all the tight, windy yeah. roads. Uphill, mountain roads. <laughs> yeah. She goes, no, no, no. She looked at the map and we're coming in the same way. I'm like, oh. Because last time we came in, it was tight, curvy, and slow. Because we are about, we're probably. I think it was like a. We're getting close to entering the Shenandoah Forest and then it gets hilly real quick. We have to go over the hill or the mountain to get to the campground. And uh, and it's tight, but it's beautiful. Very, very beautiful up in here. It's been a good trip because you're going from the beach to the... As you saw in the last video, we're at the beach. Now you're seeing us at the, uh, in the woods. You should probably turn the camera that way though so I can start okay. seeing. I'll start turning it now that we're in the woods. gonna do the zip line it's pretty cool they just put this in okay hold on now. I gotta pull you up don't I yeah. what you gonna do it you gonna take it up there I'm stuck. okay take it up there this is brand new this year so it should be pretty good shape here I'll hold you I think it, goes by itself, it does it does I, I got you go all the way flipping off. you'll be fine if nobody pushes you I think you'll be fine no okay ready don't push me back up I'm not <laughs> too scary oh, okay come on let's do it again hi harper okay jump up and it'll get you some momentum there you go Skyline Drive, and uh, which is basically at the top of the forest here. We're gonna we're gonna drive it a while. I don't know how far. It's read that it goes 105 miles. We are not driving at 105 miles, <clears throat> but we're lucky enough to be where we're staying. We're close to one of the entrances, so we're gonna get in the entrance. We'll probably go. I guess that'd be north. Go north a little bit. Just see what we can see. Just get out. Get away from the campground for a while. It's hot. Still and uh, then when we come back, kids can go to the pool, do all that stuff. 
get some sun. But uh, in the meantime, we're gonna do that. See if we can find some trails that we wanna maybe hike the next couple days. And, uh, but it's definitely easier going up this hill without the camper for sure. But I can't go too fast because Heidi doesn't want to get uh, motion sickness. We stopped a couple times already. It's it's gorgeous. It's one of those that once again, if you ever get a chance to be here, come visit. And to think that, like, anytime we go to a place like this, I think about the history of Western expansion you know like westward expansion in our country traveling through the terrain of mountains um, heck even the deserts of you know southwest America but just going westward without the technologies of roads and transportation that we have today but literally by foot by horse trying I mean, to figure your way yeah how do you know, I mean obviously use the sun, but how do you know which way to go and which way would be an easier path? And of course they didn't know that, they just did it and eventually made it, you know. Um, I, I just, I'm always amazed. Hey Heidi, why are you leaning into the middle of the truck? Because there's a wide open spot there with no trees, but I'm fine now because now there's trees over here. So Heidi uh, doesn't like curves and she doesn't like wide open spaces on a curve. On my side, of it. in other words, <laughs> like if there's a drop, <laughs> like if there's no drop, it doesn't bother me. But it was like there was nothing between me and the mountainside kind of thing, and that freaks me out, especially in a moving vehicle. And perfect time. No, it's no, that. Oh, I thought it was that. But there's some great views here for sure. to the, um, the Big Meadows Visitor Center, otherwise known as Something Bird. Uh, it was nice, the ladies there were very friendly. It was a nice, nice uh, visitor center. Mm -hmm. By the way, if you're coming here, that is a mile marker like 51-ish. It has food, re food, restrooms, and um, it also has gas. So if you're running low on gas, that's a, a place to go. Um, we picked up, what did we pick up? Picked up a puzzle, some stickers, things like that. And they helped up, and they hooked the kids up with uh, Junior Ranger books. So now the kids got some activities they can do the next couple days. Ladies helped us find some park, or uh, some trails, so we're gonna come back in the next couple days and do those. And uh, it was a nice place. What's your first impression, or uh, day one of Shenandoah yeah, Forest, Heidi, what do you think? Oh, well, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, national parks in general yeah. across the U.S. are always really, I always like going to those parks. So we're driving slowly right now because we're behind a big work truck. Earlier, I referred to it as a truck that holds rock. 
because they're doing construction where they're paving, scraping and That's not roads. exactly how it went, Heidi. Well, I couldn't remember that, you know, like, I mean, I... Like, I think they're doing construction here because uh, I saw one of those, those rock hauling trucks. The that, trucks that carry rocks. Trucks that carry rocks, uh, whatever they're called. <laughs> you know, and I said, dump, a dump truck. truck. Yeah, a rock truck, truck that carries rocks. Well, I guess because I was thinking that it may not necessarily dump the rocks. No, they just hang on to them. <laughs> they just, like they could they only fill them up. Put it down like a crate. What? <laughs> I don't know. I just it's been a long 24 hours. Oh. How do you think they get the rock out of the back of the truck? You think they pick it? A just... crane could tip it. <laughs> So otherwise known as dumping it? <laughs> no, a dump truck lifts and dumps. A crane would lift the, the crate out of it and take it and then dump it. <laughs> Therefore not being a dump truck, but a dump crate. <laughs> I know Do it's a dump truck. Do you see what I have to deal with? Yeah. It's the altitude error. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, whatever she said. 